Today we're putting two AIs to the test, Grok and the newly released GPT-5, to see which can build a better MetaTrader 5 trading robot. We'll give them the same strategy, the same rules, and see how each handles coding and debugging an expert advisor. By the end, you'll see which AI writes cleaner code, makes fewer mistakes, and gets you from idea to live trading faster. For anyone new to this, an expert advisor, or EA, is an automated trading program for NT5. It can open and close trades, manage risk, and follow a set of rules, all without manual intervention. For this test, the EA will use the USDJPY breakout strategy. It'll buy when the price closes above the Asian session high, and sell when it closes below the Asian session low. Each trade gets a fixed 25 pip stop loss and a 50 pip take profit. We'll add a simple moving average filter, so it only trades in the direction of the trend. Above the SMA for buys, below for sells. And to avoid false signals, it'll skip breakouts during high impact news like the US CPI release. We'll give both Grok and GBZ5 the exact same prompt. The idea is to see how each handles initial code generation. Is it complete and ready to compile, or do we need to debug heavily before it works? Here's Grok's first attempt, and here's GPT-5's version. On speed, GPT-5 was quicker, about 2 minutes versus Grok's 5. There's a small edge for GPT-5, but this factor might be redundant if GPT's code is not as good as Grok's. Next, we paste each version into Meta Editor, in MT5 and hit compile. Let's see how they do. At the bottom of the platform, we can see the results. And GPT-5's initial results show 29 errors and 5 warnings, which is not uncommon for an EA that is attempting to perform to a complicated set of rules. Grok's initial result showed three errors and three warnings. If there are only warnings, we can move forward, although that's not ideal. Warnings might not stop the EA from compiling, but can affect how it runs in live trading. But if there are any errors, screenshot them and send them back to the AI and ask them to improve the code. You'll get an updated version of the code that you can try compiling again in Meta Editor. In terms of code quality, Grok produced fewer errors and warnings when we first compiled it. However, it required far more follow-up prompts than GPT-5 to resolve the issues. With the code now compiling successfully for both AIs, we can attach each EA to a chart and run a backtest in the MT5 strategy tester. We'll use the same symbol, USDJPY, and the same historical period for a fair comparison. We'll choose February to March this year. As you can see, the Grok derived EA ended the month up $45, while the GBC5 derived EA ended up the month $12. You might have noticed that the drawdown for each EA was a few hundred dollars. So while the base rule sets are functional for both, they are perhaps not robust enough as it is. So, can AI really take you from idea to a working trading robot in minutes? Absolutely, but the quality depends on the AI you use, the clarity of your prompt, and your ability to test and refine the code. For this run, Grok delivered a slightly more profitable EA while GPC-5 was faster to fix its errors and needed fewer back and forth prompts. In the end, both got the job done, but in very different ways. These results are from one test, on one asset, over a short period. So treat them as a snapshot, not the final verdict. If you want me to run this challenge again on a different strategy or a market, drop your ideas in the comments. And if you're building your own trading bots, I'd love to hear which AI tools you're using and how they stack up.